So I have been following David Sinclair and uh, he gives a lot of very useful information. Um, so I started also, um, I always like to double check my sources and get a wide uh, range of, um, you know, um, facts from scientists and stuff. So I recently, and David Sinclair also talks about rapamycin, but um, also there is a guy, I believe his name is Matt Cable, and I might have messed that up, but uh, he's at the uh, University of Washington, I believe. And I believe he also um, used to work with David Sinclair back in the day. So the enemy, which I've been on, got the uh, resveratrol here, both good. They're they're decent. There's been some like some testing that showed you know good. Some you didn't get as much as the results, um, but there is something better than NMN and resveratrol. Uh, resveratrol, I'm sorry, and that is uh, rapamycin. This has been proven in the scientific literature to be better than both of these. So. I believe rapamycin, I believe you need a prescription for that. So we're gonna follow my um, gonna follow my trail here to actually obtain some. So I don't know if my doctor's gonna give it to me, but I am definitely now um, going to be trying to acquire the rapamycin, rapamycin, which is better again than the NMN and the resveratrol, of course, and to Matt. Uh, Cable Line, I believe his name is. Uh, he's from, uh, again, University of Washington. So. That not only like they're saying it's significantly better as far as um, extending healthy lifespan and they believe it also um, will extend um, uh, life, um, um, extend, I'm sorry, extending lifespan and um, just how healthy you are, period. So um, I'm going to see. Uh, again, I don't think my doctor's going to prescribe it to me, so I'm going to see if I can order this from another country um, or where can you get this. But this rapamycin is, again, like the be all as far as these supplements. And that's a prescription. These are supplements. Um, and that has been out because that is actually used, um, you know, it's been in people have been using it because it's in the market. It's just used for something else. It's not used for um, life extension or um, a higher standard of living or any of that. But um, from from uh, what Matt Cablin has said, who is running a very interesting uh, study in dogs right now where he's going to be testing the uh, rapamy rapamycin and we'll see um, the outcomes of that. In fact, this, I believe his um, scientific paper comes out in the next few weeks. So I'm going to review that and I'll try and bring you the results of that if I get a chance. Um, well, I will come back and let you know as far as how my now my new goal of trying to get rapamycin goals um, and i'm just so glad i ran across this is like there's so much happening in this field they're saying that the rapamycin is the so if you got any men in this here you got rapamycin here up here and the only thing that would be better um, that i can think of rapamycin would be um, the genetic thing where they're turning back the genes to a younger age i think they call that the epigenome um, retuning that or turning that back to an earlier stage so that's not available yet, but the rapamycin is. So uh, let me know what y'all think about this. If there's anyone who's taking rapamycin, please uh, comment. Let me know how your results are being. Let me know where you can get it. Like if my doctor won't give it to me, let me know where I can get it because I want to obtain this. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe to the channel if you want more information on all of this stuff.